Hi, it's Chris. In this two-part guitar lesson, we're taking a look at the fingerstyle chords and melody for This Town by Niall Horan. In this lesson specifically, we're taking a look at the chords. In another lesson, which I'll leave a link for in the description box below, we're going to take a look at the melody. Both lessons contain an on-screen tab and music notation, which will be available to download as a free handout when each lesson reaches 20,000 views. Let's get started with the chords, the fingerstyle chords. To begin with, you'll need to place a capo on the second fret of your guitar. This is a fingerstyle song, which means you'll be using your fingers to play individual notes or strings of each chord. So the introduction begins like this. The first chord is based around a G major chord. However, we're just going to press the third fret on the top string with our thumb. Play the top. Index finger will take care of the, will play the fourth string, fourth string up, and second finger or third finger will play the second string, both the fourth and second are played open. So you play the top string, then the second and fourth strings together, a total of eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now this continues a further eight times for the verse. And then it goes like this. And the second chord is almost the same. It's an E minor. Um, you can push down the full chord, although we don't actually play the notes you're pressing down. It's the top string, then strings two and three played open, and you play eight lots of this. Then it's a C major seven chord, which is three on the 5th string, 2 on the 4th. However, you just play the 5th string, and then it's strings 2 and 3 open, and we do this a total of 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, but on the 4th time, you play a hammer-on, so when you pluck or play the 2nd and 3rd strings, you do a hammer-on to fret number 1 on the 2nd string like this. One, two, three, four. And you continue with a C major chord. Four lots. Two, three, four. So this chord progression repeats uh, once more. And then it's a D major chord. So two, three, two, zero. However, you're just going to play the fourth string with your thumb, the, the third string, and the first string together. So eight lots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then it's the pre-chorus section, which goes like this. And this is played twice, so it's you begin with an A minor chord, open one, two, two, open, picking the fifth string with your thumb, and the first fret on set on the second string, second fret on the third string, play four lots of this, one, two, three, and four, four lots of D major, one, two, three, four, then back to G major, however this time you're going to play the top string and the second and third strings together. One, two, 
just twice, and then slide your top finger down to the second fret, play it twice. This is called a G over F sharp. Then four lots on E minor, two, three, four. So the next chord is C major, one, open. Let's have a look. Open one, open two, three, missing out string six at the top. You play string five, then strings two and three together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And this is the chorus section, I'll play the whole thing. So you begin with eight lots on E minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lots on C major seven, which is just changing to the first or the lowest sounding note to fret number three on the fifth string, keeping the other notes second and third strings the same. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then G major in the first shape, so playing the top string, then strings two and four together eight times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twice on E minor. Twice on D. Twice on G, the first shape. Four lots on C major. Once on E minor. Then it's sort of one and a half times on D major, so you play the fourth string. The first and third strings together, then the fourth string, then we're back into G major, however you start with the highest sounding or the lowest strings first, so that's strings two and four together. And then you play a further seven lots on this chord, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool, there we go. So from this point I think you just repeat the verse again and the chorus and that's pretty much the whole song. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.